everyone welcome to another episode of our tutorial series in our last class we distribute our smoke detectors and heat detectors today we'll be designing for the smash glass or you call it manual core point or you call it brick glass and likewise the fire alarm bell so as usual you need to come to your legend here i'm having my brick brick glass or you call it manual core point here so you copy cp specify this point here The way we used to design for core point is that it must be in a general access point. And for a grand floor here, based on NFP, it would be great to have one around the entrance. Let's choose this side. And likewise, we can have one because we are having another exit route here, which means occupant can pass through this. To the exit because of that we'll be able to have another manual core point here RO. RO. let's copy let's go to the other floors according to nfp standard the manual core point for levels floor should be at the staircase landing which implies for this our first floor we'll be having our manual core point somewhere around here because occupants will be directed towards this side while trying to exit from the building and likewise for our second floor we'll be having it somewhere around here Just we have it like this. Yes. So we have it somewhere around here. The next thing is to design our fire alarm bed. And there is a simple analogy that relates fire alarm bed with the brick glass. We have the fire brick glass, emergency brick glass, and the exit brick glass fire brick glass and emergency brick glass are mostly related other than if the manual core point is connected to the sander which is the bell directly we do call it emergency brick glass but if it needs to be connected to the fire alarm control panel we do call it fire brick glass but the exit brick glass are the one being fitted to the emergency exit door so as to unlock it. We majorly use this kind in commercial projects or projects where the doors are using the access control. So for a fire bell, the two basic considerations while designing a bell is to determine the standard noise area of the space you are designing and you will correspond the output with the speaker wattage. The other consideration is to determine the numbers of barriers. We have three types of notifying devices. We have the bell, we have the sander or the siren, and we still have some systems which we used to call them EVAC system. But basically for residential projects, we do use bell. And based on standard, the highest number of barriers it can have is a single web wall, which implies the system can only be enclosed at most by a single wall. So let's go back to our legend as always. And to copy CP.
So here is it. We need to have one in our main lounge. And as I explained, it will be serving our dining, likewise our bedroom here and our lobby. So let's place it somewhere around this place. And I explained the maximum number of wall is just a single one. So that means our kitchen will be at risk. So let's place one in our kitchen too. Let's go to our first floor. In our first floor, if we have one at the lobby here, it will be able to serve the entire be and the entire floor. So let's place it somewhere around this place. Because it will be serving a we are only having a single boundary here. Likewise, a single boundary here, which is the door and the wall here. Likewise here. So and for our second floor or our paint floor rather. If we place it somewhere around this end, it will serve the lunch and it will serve the bedroom. So, having designed that, the next thing is to coordinate our bell with our core point, which is the brick glass. And to achieve this, we will rather try to have an emergency brick glass, which implies our control panel won't be included. Because of that, I'll be moving this our brick glass close to. I'll be moving this our bed rather close to the brick glass so that we can have a direct connection from this glass to the bed, which implies this one will be emergency brick glass. And for our kitchen too, since we have the same opportunity, we can place our brick glass here too. So it will cover for this area, likewise for the corridor. And in our first floor, we have nothing to coordinate. And in our in our paint floor here, let's rotate it like this. R O. So we have even our bed here. So in our next class, we design the circuit for the detectors, the bell, and the brake glasses. And from the circuit, we'll be able to generate our single line diagram for the fire alarm control panel. See you next class.